東京ゲームショー2021オンラインをご覧の皆様こんにちはここからのお時間はハピネットの番組をお送りいたしますそれではどうぞハピネットゲームショーケース in TGS2021 first stage Hello everyone, Tokyo Game Show 2021 online. This is official program of HappyNet. I am today's MC, Shohei Taguchi. Thank you, everyone. And we have a special guest, the guitarist of the rock band Nightmare, Mr. Hitsugi. So, how do you like the Tokyo Game Show this year? This is the hybrid setting. I used to come to Tokyo Game Show as audience. I actually purchased t i c k e t myself by yourself. Well, you could have relied on your network in the industry to get a ticket. No, I didn't want to do that. And I purchased the tickets in the past. But、uh, I'm so happy to be here as a guest. Yes, there are a lot of constraints, but、uh, we have a great location and、uh, settings here. We have a wide range of the games we are going to introduce for the Happy Net. So it will be very、uh, quick and fast. So we expect you are very passionate remarks. You can rely on us to moderate the program. In this program, we are going to provide information about the games of Happy Net. Today is the first stage, and we are going to. Give information about the games from the six companies. There will be our first ever information, and please look, for, look forward to having the information. Let me first talk about the Twitter campaign. After the program, we are going to hold HappyNet follow and retweet campaign. If you retweet、uh, the account, and you can be part of it. At the end of the program, you will be hearing about the gift. So let's get started, and we are going to introduce the games. So the first one is the one, this one. So, here we can see that it to interactive will be released by 20 PlayStation 4, Crisis Remastered Trilogy. You saw the PV of the band left today. How was, how, how have you been? How do you feel? This is different from what I expected. The gorgeous demo, gorgeous. A、uh, good scene, and that was not what I expected. That was so escalated, promoted, and progressed.、Uh, that, yeah, I worked as the Apex Merchant and I played games, open world FPS, that's new themes,、uh, new platform. It's a different platform, a different system. But still,、uh, there are a number of funds,、uh, the themes of the funds. Uh, so they incorporated both those things. So then we were delivering for information on Crisis Remastered Pre Trilogy. Please see here first. So here we come a soldier equipped with the next generation weapon, now new suit, as an open world FPS that fights the arms and the alliance as a blockbuster series since the, its launch in 2007. Crisis Revop loved by many fans. And here you can see the real master of all three works with this. So far, it is designed to maximize the performance of the latest model and the op openability is optimized. It is said that it is work that you can enjoy fresh play. The time of release, it became a hot topic due to its overwhelming graphics and speedy gameplay. But in this remaster, we're wondering if it is like to actually move. So, the actual movement of the graphics is different, but I expected. So, it's really sensational, I think.、Uh, have you 
played before, actually. Yes, I did. It's really remarkable, and the sound is really uh, peaceful and flexible, and it's really smooth. So it's really good expression that we said smooth movement. So, so far, aliens and uh, aliens, uh, we just, it's really fun to devastate those aliens to invade Japan and invade global. So it's a really a set that guest. So, uh, it's, have you owned this one? Yes, I did. Yes, if you have this one, def definitely it's a must buy, I think. Uh, the, uh, this is just the PlayStation 4 version. And you can, of course, play here with the PlayStation 3, the remaster. So you can enjoy three remastered one it all at once, this program. So uh, if, of course, you can play from the scratch. So it's a really good feature of the game. So I really want you to use this and play this. So this is the first release information. So as you can see, the release date has been decided on December 9, 2021. So, so soon, I think. Uh, yeah, the, this year, 2021 is ending. Uh, now I found that the, this year is almost end. The next year is coming soon. So limited quantity as an early purchase privilege for the package version. This is a must see because we have an original art card and metal slip case. I hope you have it. So since the reservation ban has been lifted from today, so please make a reservation as soon as possible for the package version if that came with the special benefits. So this is the H2 Interactive, this interaction. Thank you. From a new dawn, a hero rises. Torn between two worlds, yet part of none. It's your fate to free Nevendar. We be precise. We get in, take out this priest, and go get our pay. But what about the guards? If any of them see our faces, the Empire will hunt us down and our families. Embrace your destiny as the child of iron and sky. Seize your destiny and liberate the land of Nevendar. Welcome to Vrantor. Yes, that was a promotional video. That is the new game that is going to be released from Calypso Media Japan on November 25th, 2021 for PS5, PS4. This is the game called Disciples Liberation. How did you like it? Well, looking at it, it looks like uh, something I have not played. So, however, this is kind of a traditional video game. Diablo is one of the uh, uh, similar games. It's, uh, it's like uh, Mua's theory, you know, that technology is advancing so rapidly. This kind of a game, you have to play it until, until, you, until you, you, you play it. Before you play it, you don't know how fun it is. So you have to really... Um, want people to know and we want people to play it so that you will see how fun it is first i want to introduce the company calypso media japan 
Uh, Calypso Media Japan is the group company of Calypso Media Group. In autumn 2020, they established Japan office. Calypso Media Japan localizes the games of Calypso Media and they launch it in Japan. This year, they released Tropical 6 and Port Royal 4. They are very popular games for simulation game. And this is the latest game. Disciples Revelation. The concept of the game is dark fantasy for the grown-ups. And also this is tactical RPG where strategy is important. You will be playing as Aviana. And this is sophisticated fantasy world. And you have to make a very difficult choices along the way. And there are a wide range of the characters. There will be uh, fights, betrayal, meeting new people. And uh, in Nevandal, the world of Twilight, you have to make a choice, and that will be the destiny of the story. Please enjoy your own story. So it is dark fantasy. How do you like that? I love it. I love it. So the world. So as you go deeper, I may, I may not enjoy it. That was my first impression. Am I wrong? Well, you know, in order to immerse yourself you like kind of you like this kind of the game okay let's talk about the character design it, they are very popular overseas how do you like the design it looks very good maybe some people may not like it but uh, in my personal opinion i mean i like the dark world and the graphics is great and effect is good and user interface is kind of unique this is what uh, what makes overseas games special. And, you know, the players will start to collect the information and looking at the information will be just fun to watch. I think that is what the kind of the game it is. So we are living in a boundless world. We don't really talk about Japanese player or overseas players. So we are in a new world, I think. So, this is the product information for PS4 and PS5. Disciples Liberation will be released on November 25th, 2021. They are taking pre-orders now. So, it's soon. It's uh, next month. Yeah, November is the, last, uh, the next month. And you will get the original soundtrack if you make a pre-orders. So please check it out. So it was about Calypso Media Japan. We'll next move on, then I'd like to introduce you here. あと3日。現実世界のありさまは彼の目にはっきりと映ってるはず。何を見たか詳しい話が待ち遠しいね。ここまで急かしていいのか。初期段階でこんなにいい愛称を示した候補が久しぶりに現れただけに。あいつらが憎い。影であいつらを差し出する奴を憎い。常識に縛られてはダメよ。自分の目に映る。信じ込んではいけない。腕を見せて。この程度の謎はあなたにとって朝飯前のはず。出口は全て塞がれたわ。残りの人間も全員行方不明になった。あれだけの人が突然と消えるだな。目の前の光景を言葉にできない。見たことのないもので溢れ返ってる。
So now the game Source Entertainment will be released by PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 titles done in 1983. You have been seeing the TV now. How do you feel, Hitsugi-san? I actually the, I, the PS PlayStation stage and I actually play this. I am I'm really looking forward to and I'm focus on this one. And I have this and I actually played it before the booth. And I, I, I just played at once the first stage. It's not like a horror. I think it's rather than the horror. It's just a puzzle feeling. I think it's just a escaping from or going out from the closed area across room so it's really difficult to reach this area so i think in myself i'm really looking forward to this series and dying series uh, like the fish one the bone uh, the uh, the head is different even though the fish so the sawashiro san and takeuchi san those two cvs are quite famous in japan and we are looking really focusing on that so the professional skills are really marvelous i think and also uh, it's uh, focusing on 1983 uh, uh, it's not 1983 um as you can see it's focusing on the japan uh, the area, the era of 1983, 80s. Uh, I, I've never seen this, but before uh, we have the kettles, the motive of the kettles before, even if we've seen, we haven't seen in the PV before, but it's really attractive and really, it's really exciting. It seems to be exciting. So I think it's not just scary, but it's just a bizarre feeling, I think. I said just that today's lineup. So I think that that series must be interesting and exciting. Uh, it says, well, I will easily deliver the information. So um, what's the sense or what's the feature of the horror games? I actually um, have the, it's really top notch as the dis distributors, online distributors of the game series. I think I myself, and I was so surprised and I, re my reaction is really well known and really focused on that. Uh, that team with scenes like you, like now, is really marvelous, I think. It's a, like a professional and it's really a creative features. And uh, this night, uh, the it's on, uh, it's like a, uh, the success succession of the previous series. And the, um, the, this work is a sequel to previous work and the first person visual or an adventure and the number of puzzles has tripled from the previous work in addition the style has changed from a stage system to exploring one map one large map and the, it's a gorgeous japanese double jet cast that was popular in the previous work uh to cover cover cv miyuki sawashiro and sasunsuke takeuchi they are really a marvelous and famous cv in japan so you will attention please pay attention to this powerful performances so playstation dying 1983 we are accepting popular reservations for the release on february 17 2022 so now so far you can of course you can purchase all of them all at once because the release date is different one by one so so far you can collect all of the things we introduced before so that's the game source entertainment and we have more we have the video from light to introduce the new games and please watch ladies and gentlemen welcome to tokyo game show welcome to tokyo game show i'm shinkai masayo today's mc and hattori from light we will be talking about the new game that will be available in Nintendo Switch. So please watch the video until the end.
it was cool video and it looks like a very good game so the game is called magatsu barai and this opening song i actually sing the song and that is why i'm doing an mc today here we will be talking about the detail of the new game magatsu barai so the main character is just an ordinary student However, uh, he meets with uh, this mysterious girl and he gains all kinds of the special powers. And there are a lot of characters, right? Yes. First main character, Isurugi Hayato and Karasuma Shion. So Karasuma Shion lived 1,000 years ago and actually ancestors of Hayato was the one that con controlled the Shion, and now she is liberated. And we have Isizuru Amane and Tsubasa. So Amane is the sister of Hayato, and she loves her brother. And before you know, she talks a lot about him. She is very smart, and he she loves his brother and Tsubasa. And she, she had a brother and sister. However, because she was involved in a, a critical accident, and uh, his brother was dead, but the spirit or soul of the brother went into the body of the sister. It's complicated, but uh, they are attractive characters. And they are uh, friends, comrades, and some enemies and Magatsu. So there are a wide range of characters in Magatsu Barai. Today on October 1st, we have launched official website of Magatsu Barai. You can see all the details. Now we are showing some illustrations from the game. This is another cool picture. This is Shion, right? The battle illustration. Uh, we spent a lot of time to determine this good color. And this is something people are waiting for. That's great. And this is Hayato and Shion. So is trying to provide power to Hayato. Uh, Keiji from Silvario series and Rokuji and Sumeraiki Kohaku are the team of the character design and Ryo Takama, Marimo, Morima are the, the scenario writers. This is the Nintendo Switch game, Magatsu Barai. This will be released January 27th, 2022. Soundtrack CD, special box, and these are, limit, these are included in the first edition of the game. Yes. This is the great offering for the limited edition. Just today, we are taking the pre-orders. October 1st, we are taking pre-orders. When you purchase the game, you will be getting the gifts, drama CDs. So this is what you are going to get when you purchase the game in the store. First, every 10, 3D crystal set and tapestry. Uh, the gifts. When you purchase the game through Amazon, you will get the CD and character fine bold P3 size. And if you purchase a game in SoftMap, you get the B2 tapestry and Wonder Goo B2 tapestry and also Animate B2 tapestry. These are the, the goods that you will be getting if you purchase the game through this channel. Yes, uh, Hayato is very popular with the girls, so everyone will like these gifts. And uh, if you purchase the game through Gale, you will get the CD. If you buy it through Rakuten Books, you will get different kind of CD. And I'm not over yet. And Ami Ami, you will get the acrylic key holders. If you buy it in Yorozuya Shop, Big Takarajima, you will get acrylic stand. Uh, uh, gamers will give you some towel, Toranana give you S3 tapestry, famis.com, poster, and your wing will uh, give you uh, the big picture. 
So these are the supports we are getting from the stores. Once again, we are taking pre-orders today. So this is the uh, end of this part of the program. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. So th this was my first time to do MC like this. And I am singing the opening song of the of the game. So I was really looking forward to this date. Thank you for watching the video. Tokyo Game Show continues. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. So thank you for watching the video. There were a lot of cute and cool characters. So this is kind of the novel adventure games. Do you play that kind of game? So, okay, that was the kind of the game. I was wondering what kind of the game it was. You can see more details in the official website. I played Kamaitachi no Yoru. So I played that kind of game. The game with the cute girls. That is kind of the game I really like. I think that game looked really good. Uh, not many people do the, the live streaming of the game play. Maybe you, you could be the first one. Do you think I'm the right one? Yes, you are the right one. I'm confident. Thank you. That was all about light. Thank you. Thank you for watching. That next is the I track to talk about the Kadokawa games, the new complete simulation LPZ. We are hosting the guests. Yasuda san is the president of this company. My name is Yasuda, coming from Kadokawa Games. Today, I'd like to talk about the new RPG. I'm the director and the producer of this game. So the director, uh, you are doing the, as a president, but you are as working as a director, right? So you, uh, your company is really focusing on the games, right? Yes, actually, uh, there are many people said like that, but actually the members of the games team have cooperated so far. So it's not only me. So I'd like to talk about this game so please show please take a look at the slides right now so the layer uh, you have been so the uh the aliens uh who are wanting to invade the, the world and another one the human being side that's the layer uh, they are focusing explore of the uh, cosmopolitan world. So you can see that both sides is like really similar, even though they are aliens. So here are relayers versus star child. So the attacks from the relayers and the star child are protecting the, comp the global sphere. So the next page, please. So um, the uh, release date, the uh, twin, so the February 17th, 2022, still, uh, it's already decided. So now you can see here, the uh, actually the early purchase privilege was started yesterday on, and the early, uh, the normal version is the, uh, the privilege for the early purchase on the right hand side. The uh, ten rare, the rare items, the uh, main character of the center, the picture that you can see, the Tela, and then you can get the ten rare items from Tela like with the main character on the right hand side. Um, so, even uh, you need to buy early purchase privilege. Only those users who got the early purchase privilege can only get this this rare items. So yes, this is limited one. And the next page, please. And the layer, the uh, limited version for uh, this one, and that I talked to you before. The in uh, addition to the rear items, uh, we can get some tracks, and also setting a uh, hundred page setting reference book. It's really detailed settings reference. So the limited edition comes with those bonuses. It's a high volume, hundred pages. It's a marvelous. So please take a look at it, and I'm looking forward to your purchase. So about them, uh, you have another information to share right now. So now, yes, um, you can see the uh, play game videos of the real play, real year here. Let's have a look.
私はあなたたちに災いをもたらすものその目に焼き付けなさい So now you can see the BTR about this game. What do you think about it? Actually, I've played and watched before, just before the sessions, and it was really amazing. It's amazing and really graphics are real. And so, have you focused on this point right now? Yes. I actually want to focus on three points as for the characteristics of this game. One is, of course, graphics. The other is uh, the combination, and also the bat battle scenes is really cool. So I think it's really good, uh, speedy, and it's like 1.5 times half faster than the default version settings. And it's, you can increase the speed to 1.7 times. So the logo design is really marvelous, right? Yes, I actually, this design, as well as the motions, flexibility, the smoothness, takes so long uh, years. Yes, it's, that really is interesting. Seems to be. Have you ever played this simula simulation RPG before? Yes, I, I was really a fan of this game, this kind of games. When I was a teenager, I never, I actually, it's really difficult. It was difficult for me to play and master this kind of games, but now that I can learn many things. So I think what, what's the features of this game? So the simulation RPG, uh, it was uh, born in Japan, 1980s. Uh, the simulation as well as RPG, uh, it's a combination of those two good things. So they focus on that point, and actually that has a big giant um, in the theme. So it's really a geek comment, right? Yes, um, that's why I established these groups, and uh, that's FPS, for example, action RPC. Uh, compared to those sectors, this section is really minor, I think, but I do want to introduce the features of this game or these schemes. I think that the geeks really love this. I'm really looking forward to having these games. So it's really so time to say goodbye in no time. So you have some information to you, right? Yes, you guys have a digestion uh, PV right now, right? So now I'll uh, get the actual booth to facilitate the two thing, two machines, and you can actually try them. So that, uh, from 4.30 today, um, I, we're going to have the uh, information sharing sessions. The um, actual gameplay scene can be seen and distributed. Uh, and tomorrow, uh, that's a tomorrow, a tomorrow hour. So uh, from tomorrow as well, 5.20 to 5.50, you can have another session, event sessions from Famitsu and Zengeki, the autumn game sports day event also we can see the actual playing themes of the lily year P playstation 5 versions so you can enjoy this so now uh thank you for yesterday for your time so that's the introduction of the lily year from kadokawa games please watch the next video
We have a guest here uh, from Taiwan, Makoto Nishi of Just Dan. Just Dan, I'm Nishi. Thank you for having me. Okay, so thank you for playing the video. So this is the, uh, the another Dusk Diver game. Yes, we made an announcement uh, we are going to launch the second version of the game and we made the official decision to launch the game in Japan, so this is now official. So not only the Chinese, we have a Jap Japanese voiceover, the same voice actors from the last game, and there are new characters, and you saw the girl at the end of the video, that was a new character, and there are new actions. And during the actions, you can change which character to play. So this is really brand new and good game. And graphics are great. Yes, the characters and cities are all recreated. So the Ximenjin in Taiwan continues to be the, the main city. However, other than that, there are popular locations of Taipei. Yes, there are a lot more than uh, the first version of the game. Under the pandemic, it is very difficult to travel, but uh, if you play the game, uh, you can visit a lot of uh, locations and you can feel the atmosphere of Taiwan. So, uh, so you can really uh, do the travel when you play the game. Thank you, it was rather quick, but uh, thank you for introducing Dusk Diver 2. And other game from Just Down, right? Yes, please watch the video. So it was great promotional video. So this is Little Vich Nobeta, yes. Developed by Simon Creative and Pupia Games. Uh, this is the 3D action RPG. Okay, there are a lot to cover. Uh, we have prepared a slice, so I would like to give explanation based on the slice. So this is Little Witch Nobeta. So the girl lost the memory and the Nobeta came to the old castle and Nobeta means the black cat who speaks the language and then she goes to the thrones. The early access version was sold uh, 50,000 copies. As of March 2021, more than 200,000 copies were sold. This is very popular as an indie game. Now we are ready to give new information about this. So this is the official version, and there are a lot of fine tuning and addition compared to early access version. We have added a stage. Okay, so compared to the early access version, this is the great addition. So this is the information that we are uh, giving out for the first time. Uh, this is the stage four, and actually it is that is not it. And there are more to come, but we are only showing a stage four. Uh, there are the, the female character, Actually, this is the new character. And actually, talking about the characters, there are a lot of good characters. Main character, Nobeta. So the uh, voice actor is Konomi Kohara. So cute voice of Kohara and a natural voice is best suited to Nobeta. With this voice, uh, Nobeta is even cuter. Next one, three girls. So there are the boss characters. Yes, they are. The blue, the, the Lolita complex kind of the dress, uh, Tanya. And Monica is the, uh, the one on the bear. 
And uh, Vanessa is the new character, the one with the red dress and having uh, the big sword. And there are very important information you are giving to us, right? Yes, we have been very fortunate and we are now working with Hololive. So what are you going to do with Hololive? Yes, in this collaboration, uh, Hololive uh, will be doing uh, voice of the characters. So please see this. The Hololive fifth generation, Horuka Omaru, is playing Tanya. Okay, so this is the voice, very sophisticated voice, and there are two other characters. Yes. For Monica, the first generation of her life, Fubuki Shirakami is doing her voice. Okay, and the, the last one, yes. So new character Vanessa is going to be played by Noel Shirogane of Hololive. Please listen. Okay, thank you. These are the voice of the three characters. So it was a great announcement. How did you like it, Hitsugi? I love Monica among these three girls. Uh, okay, I, I did not expect it, but uh, okay. So everyone has a different uh, preference, but uh, thank you. So Nissan, can you really uh, provide a summary of the game? Yes, we are showing some slides. Little Witch Nobeta is going to be available in Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Steam. It will be released in 2022. Thank you for bearing with us. And we are working very hard for the development. So stay tuned. And also about the Dusk Diver and Nobeta, uh, new information is available in uh, Twitter. So please follow the accounts. Thank you, Nishisan. Thank you. So it was about just done. Thank you. Well, now that we have rushed the big volume, the introduction of six companies has ended. It's a big volume. And here, the today's special guest, Mr. Hitsugi, has announced something. Yes, it will be released on the November 17th. The Nightmare's new single is out. So the lead song sinners, I'd like to watch this video, music video 37 commercial at the fastest speed. Uh, congratulations on you. Yeah, this is the opening theme of the Tokyo anime, TV Tokyo anime duo Masters King. So it's an opening theme, so. So we prob probably some audiences are watching this videos for this video, I think. Well then, please have a look. So then, finally, HappyNet has an announcement to you. So today uh, we have the nightmare and the uh, night. Uh, we have another uh, present, another Dusk Diver 2 or made cast sign signatures. We have some kind of present for those who are watching this video. Uh, please follow and retweet our Twitter account. Uh, please look at our HoppyNet Twitter account, official one, and please check it out. So then we, we introduce HoppyNet Showcase in 2021. First stage is that's all of our program. How did you feel? It's just a first piece. <laughs> How can you maintain your pace? It's really difficult. And I think I need some more time. If we... So please check it out with the official with each official website. So from today on, from October 10 a.m. to 11:50 a.m., Happiness Official Exhibitor Program. Another second stage is on. So please take a look at them as well. So another after this, four more TV titles will be displayed. displayed. So please pay attention to that too. Thank you for everyone for watching this fun program. Thank you. Bye.
ハピネットの番組をお送りいたしましたこの後18時より505ゲームスの番組が始まります東京ゲームショウ2021オンライン引き続きお楽しみください。